AOE Nation for a very special spirits review. I am the devilishly handsome outlaw himself, your king of extreme, Phil KOE, joined by my indomitable broadcast partner, the one, the only, Tony G, like, share, subscribe. Willet Bourbon. This is one I've seen around. What I like about this is that they make the bottle look like a pot still. Yeah. Which is unique. Kind of neat. It's what caught my eye. This was an impulse buy when I was checking out at the register. I'm like, I've heard a lot of things about this. I want to check it out myself. And it was right there. And it was this cool little bottle. And yeah, it's unique. So, I don't know too much about this. I don't either. Other than the way that they've uh, marketed it. Let's see. Small batch bourbon made in Kentucky. Batch number 19G15. Bottled by Willet Distilling. Bardstown, Kentucky. All right. All right. And then just got a basic health. Warning. What's the uh, ABV on that guy? Uh, I'm sure it Let's says see. on there somewhere. 47%. 47. So it's a good, honest bourbon. A lot of folks don't like their bourbon being a 40. Let's see how much we like it, and then we'll drain the rest of it. <laughs> exactly. Oh. It's got a bit of a clean sweetness. It is clean. You definitely smell bourbon, but it is sweet, and there's no intrusive it's noses. Not, yeah, there's no intrusive, like, vanilla mm -hmm. or anything like it's that. It's an alcohol but scent, but it's not... Barely. Yeah, very, very light. I mean, you really got to get in there to get it's the like food. like a candied apple sweet, which yeah, is a, a, yeah. not an orchard offensive sweet. to me at all. I, I do enjoy No, that. I like that. Yeah, orchard sweetness. I like that. That's mm. good. Yes. So... Well, let's give it a shot. Will it Indeed. bourbon? Whoa. Crisp. That's hot honey. Mm hmm That's hot, spicy cinnamon. Oh, honey. yeah. A hot, hot, Christmassy type cinnamon. There's the honey. The nose mm. and the palate don't match. No, but I'm still, no, honestly, I'm getting a little bit of that orchard sweetness you were talking about. A little, but you've got to get past mm -hmm. the very heavy cinnamon spice. Yeah, that immediate, it is, it's like Christmas. It's cinnamon, it's honey, you're right. It's all these different Christmas notes. That yeah, me. That, I wasn't expecting that. It, it is Now it's spicy. that you've had some on the palate, go back in and see if you don't smell the candy cane. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Peppermint, yeah. Now, wow. these are not the kinds of oh, wow. flavors I normally go for. No. But, but this hits them amazingly well. Wow, I'm like pleasantly surprised by this. Will it bourbon? Uh, you uh, do quite a good job with this, I must say. Yeah, this is a, it almost tastes like it should be a seasonal bourbon. God, you know, I, I do see this generally during the holidays is when it's out, but. Mm. Uh, you know what? I'm be Almost gift. a bit of licorice. You know, I can smell it okay. more than I can taste it, but I do okay. see it there. Yeah, definitely not what I was expecting, but I, I think my expectation was low. This definitely took it in another direction. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I thought I'm the bad. bottling was just going to be a gimmick. Yeah. Honestly, I thought it was just going to be a gimmick bottle, and it is what it is. But mm. this is a great wintertime drink. Yeah, I was like, thinking exactly that. Cold weather, nighttime, by the fire maybe. I think this is perfect for that if you're a bourbon fan. Yeah, yeah, this is an exceptional, exceptional nighttime bourbon. Like this it. ain't a day, this no. isn't a, you know, lazy Sunday afternoon drinker. And I think, a, I think it helps. I I have this in my, uh, I had this on my shelf in my basement where it's a bit cooler. It keeps the liquids in the bottle a little bit lower in temperature. And I think that helps it. So I think this would go very nice on ice. Yeah, this wouldn't be too bad on ice. Yeah. And you know how I always say add a little bit of like chili vodka or something spicy to cocktails this involving bourbon? I don't think you really need it yeah. with this. I think this it's has there. all the spices that you're going to need. Yep. Oh, boy. So now, Tony, now we're going on to the very interesting part. Okay. Grading. Let's do this. We gr we're going to grade as a bourbon. Okay. We're going to grade it as a whiskey. Okay. As a cask aged spirit. Okay. And then it's shelving. All right. And then the secret question, folks. All right. So here we go. As a bourbon on a five star scale, what do you give it? I'm going to give this actually, 
I'm going to give this 3.75. I, it surprised me. This is, I honestly expected it to be one I wasn't extremely impressed with, but yeah, as a specific scenario bourbon, this is perfect for that. Now, like you said, it's not a day drinker, I, I wouldn't think. Yeah, so, this is like special occasions. Yeah, reasons. I think it's perfect for that, and I'm really surprised with the direction it went. Yeah. yeah 3.75. Um, honestly, as a bourbon, I'm going to give it three stars okay. because there's really no caramel. There's no vanilla to speak of. It doesn't have well, the spice is kind the of overtake standard those undertones. bourbon. Yeah, yeah, the spice overtakes it. Yeah. But it is an excellent exploration. You're right. Is, okay, I'm going to go three and a half. All right. Well, I was going to say You're right. You're right. in my next metric, okay. which is why I was giving it three, two, five as a whiskey, because it actually explores those okay. flavors amazingly well in probably the this is the best cinnamon that i've come across in a bourbon okay okay like i don't normally That's like cinnamon but this because it's strong but it's not overbearing okay that like it, am i wrong because you no. do get it but like i'll be honest the mccallan the mintiness was a little too much. Like there was at one point the where 12 like, double eh, cast does this about. stop? Like, okay, can I get off the roller coaster now? Um, but no, it, you're, you have no choice. You're on that minty roller coaster. Yeah. This is just the right explosion okay. and it doesn't linger for too long, but it does. No, it's, it's for the spices that's in there. Uh, it's not as hot of a bourbon as you would expect. No. So I'm going to no. go 3.75 on this one then. Okay. Now, as a cask-aged spirit. I am going to say, I'm going to go three. Three? Yeah, I'm going to go three. Um, I, I don't know. I can't. I just, that's the first thing that came to my mind. Sell me on a better rating. I was going to go three, two, five. Okay. Uh, just because. I'm about there. The casking on this, the cooperage that went into making this, the cask maker at Willet is probably just as if not more skilled than the distiller if that's that makes fair. sense like that's fair like that is where this particular bourbon really shines so i'm gonna give it three two five now made from the pure limestone spring water carefully selected grains Aquifer. and proprietary strains of yeast Age in new white oak casks until fully mature. There you have it. White oak. All right, there you go. That's probably, maybe that's the reason that you get a different profile. Okay. Now, shelving, Tony. Um, this is going to be probably a, a middle shelf for me because it's specific in when you want to drink it. It's not a well whiskey. No. And it presents really nice. Yeah, it does middle shelf. handsomely. I'm going to agree with you on middle shelf. Now, curious. Will you pursue a bottle of this when this bottle is empty? <laughs> Which could be soon. Yes, might be very soon. I, you know, I was prepared to say no, but for the right price, I think I would. But I think... I don't know what this retails at uh, for a normal size bottle. I think I see and it I around forty-five to fifty bucks. Okay, I was gonna say if it's if it's around forty, I think grab a bottle for sure. If it's around sixty, maybe try to find it on sale somewhere. Yeah, to me, I was gonna say about the same thing. If I can find it below forty, yeah, I might consider it. There I might go. consider it. But otherwise, as much as I hate to say, the world of bourbon is so wide Indeed. now again if i find it for a great price i'll definitely pick it up but i've also heard that there's some other interesting releases from this distillery exactly. that i might even look into so that's what i was thinking. will it bourbon we raise our glass to you gentlemen ladies and gentlemen of that distillery very nice that is a marvelous bourbon you put together thank you all of you mm. ah yes mm. i do like it so as i'm known to say around here all that being said, thank you for joining us for our review of Willet Bourbon. I am the devilishly handsome outlaw himself, your king of extreme, Phil KOE, signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partner, Tony G. Thanks for stopping.